YouTube so just come on my YouTube channel the other spot with Darius where he will be fed to your donkey but on an avitic music concept so you will see how it's video yeah for domach that in malam a domach artistic yeah or beside of them she know in a public car she win a budding town to rush to know in a zosium pre-hit that is the mahok nalo that be pleased with this the vehicle of idealism the noro the novishni artistic now my next reaction of today i'm quite excited because this was on the back of me reacting to the hot pack dance so i have an amazing an amount of uh, comments regarding my last reaction and in which one, one that I was really in particular about the site about was Catalina uh, I believe I, uh, is it Catherine or Catalina let me know she was one of the dancers and she sent me a message I was like what is going on she said thank you for this reaction you return me back to the past when I was a part of this wonderful assemble I've been dancing for eight years in a choreograph in a choreo I can never pronounce the word choreographic they go school and uh, which is a preparation for the assemble then you can either enter the studio in which you can dance for two years and only after you could join the assemble itself competition is crazy and you get to you get into the assemble but it's very very complicated that's the legendary assemble with a long history and it's, it goes on for more, um, and which I was very happy to be a part of it. So she said that she was at school from the age of eight and trained three times a day. She had ballet lessons, then she had traditional dance lessons. Then she's taught a lot about how you um, show emotions during the dancing um, show, just like music, showing your empathy towards the expression of the words. But this is in terms of dance, so I get that. Um, and it says that the competition is crazy, even in the school. To get a place to perform on stage is very hard. We have to work a lot, so there's no possibility to gain any weight, even one kilogram, because it, it needed, you needed to be fit, uh, very, very fit with this assembly. We travel to all Ukraine, as well as lots of European countries. These memories are incredible. So that's on the back of, that's just one of my comments, which I was just so happy to hear, um, to read. Um, the other one, which is on the back of this one that I'm going to react to, um, I'm going to read it out. It goes, hello, Uncle Momo. Since you made a reaction to the Ukrainian dance hop cap, hop, hop pack, there you go. Um, I wanted to thank you for it. You receive a small present from me. Thank you very much. Um, but I will write about it at the end of the comment. And he did leave me with a small present, which his wife has been hiding this amazing gem and I asked if I can react to this and I literally got the message back about say half an hour ago saying yes I can so look this is my reaction of it so thank you so tell your wife thank you very much for allowing me to react to this particular performance so this is called the cruel dance and this was uploaded uh, about 2011 and it says the concert in the Ukrainian folk dance assembled uh, Veselka I hope I'm saying that name right as well. The Palace of School Children of the Solom Mansky, Direct of Kiev, May 19, 2020. Uh, Ukraine Ura Rainbow, directed by Dmitry and uh, Yerifav. Y wait a minute, Yer Yerfanov. There you go. Uh, Place of the School Children. Uh, yeah, that's that's all I've got. Sorry. So look, this is about say four and a half minutes. So let me stop talking and press the play button. So without further ado, you know what we're here for? Great vocabs and a damn good video audio music. Can you dig it? <laughs> I still got to learn how to roll my arms. It's hard. So I take it that your wife recorded this. See? I've got to roll my R's, I've got to roll my B's, I've got to roll my G's. A lot of rolling as you do. Oh, these are the kids. They did say the school kids. Okay, you see what you're going to do. Even that's hard. I 
taste buds is nice about this. Generations are still learning it. It's not a forgotten thing. And all these things are just basic training to develop your leg muscles. That's an exercise in itself. That's army training. <laughs> don't, get, don't get me wrong, I do know the history of it. The, uh, the combat element. Hidden in dance. I've read all your comments. See, now that movement there, all of the whole world, when they do that, anybody does that dance, they're gonna say the Russian dance. You must know this. He's bringing up back some dance moves for the modern society. Don't let your hip hop culture see this. They'll take it and bring it to hip hop. Especially that move. But they're still continuing on. I'll be shattered by now. in urban dance right now. In the 90s, that move was used. That move, they called it the donkey. That was used in 80s, the late 80s, when body pop was out. That move they can never do. <laughs> right, how many times have you seen people do that in the 80s and 90s? In Greek, um, I believe in Jewish, in Arabic, And like I said, that move, anybody does that, anywhere around the world, that person will be ignorant to say, oh, that's the Russian dance, but that's what they do. Brilliant. So that was the traditional Ukrainian crawl dance performed by children. And this is where it starts. Those little, little things, well, difficult things, don't get me wrong, they're very, I can't do them. But those things, it gives you so much leg muscle, it's unreal. And when you see the previous uh, dance assemble that I reacted to, the height that these guys get when they're doing their performances stems from those little things right there. Difficult little things right there. I mean, little things in the Cosette mind, but it's a massive, immense thing in my mind because I don't care what age I am, I still won't be able to do. Well, saying that, I done the donkey when I was in, uh, in when hip hop started, the robot in de developing to body popping. So when it was body popping and break dancing, there was about, say, three of those moves that was already incorporated into the urban dance culture. Isn't that amazing? For me, that is amazing. Because it just like, like I said before in my previous reaction, it just shows you how much things were being, has been inspired by other countries and transcended over to other countries. It could be somebody from Ukraine coming over to the UK or went over to America and just done one little move and it caught on. And then it developed. And then, you don't know how these things start. You know, but it's just amazing to see these things. I'd like to say thank you very much, um, Vassel. Say thank you uh, to your wife as well. You didn't tell me what your wife's name is, but yeah, Vassel, thank you very much for that. I don't know if you, if that was, you know, you, your wife was obviously recording it, but I don't know if your children was in, the, in participating in that or not. Let me know about it. That was very, very intriguing. It told me that it's, it's got about 4 million views, 
Wow, <laughs> that is just amazing. It really is. Really enjoyed it. It showed, like I said, it showed me the quality of determination and grit, organized, no, grit mindset that you have to be in as a young person to get into that stage. You heard when I was speaking about Catherine, she was eight when she started it. So it is some serious determination, grit, to study that craft. And by the time you're about 15, you may be good. <laughs> because there's, that's how much hard work you've got to put into it. Hard work and dedication got to be um, into it. That is a serious, not only dedication, but it's a cultural element as well. So you're learning, it's a school. So you're not only you learning the dance move, but you're learning the historic values of it. So even if you don't pass the first hurdle or the second hurdle, you certainly come away with some serious knowledge that you can share to other people. And I think that's what it is about as well. I've certainly le learned a lot. And I know there's still a hell of a lot to learn. But so until then, I salute you. Boom.